Yeah, hello everyone. I'm really excited today because uh, we are going to be talking to Deepti, our HR leader. So if you are applying for a job at DC Cap, um, you would have uh, definitely met uh, Deepti at some point uh, if you had cleared all the rounds and uh, moving forward. So I'm happy to chat with uh, Deepti today who runs our HR team and our HR leader to understand uh, what the hiring process at DC Cap looks like. Uh, let's get started. Uh, hello, Deepti. Thank you so much for joining me today. So um, thank you, Karthik. Thank you so much for having me here. And it was, it's a great pleasure to be here. And I'm, I'm very excited about talking about the hiring at DC Cap. So how do you handle uh, recruitment at DC Cap? You know, so I mean, we're just talking about DC Cap in general, you know, what we do to hire and what kind of people we look for. But maybe let me start off with this question, right? So what kind of people are we looking for? Thank you, Kati. Thank you for having me here. Okay, so with regards to hiring, okay, so what uh, we first focus on is uh, tech talent. You know, that's something that we really love. We being in a software company, we being on technology, you know, that's something that we really focus on. We look for people who can be uh, very, very good coders. I think very passionate about coding. That's exactly the first thing. Who are willing to learn. So I think, you know, uh, that's definitely, an, you know, uh, the attitude to learn is very, very important. Uh, I don't, we don't want people who know everything. We know we want people who can, who are able to learn, who are willing to learn, and that's exactly what we look for. Uh, so a few things that we basically look for when we hire is one, the accomplishment. You know, what kind of things have they done? You know, uh, outside uh, studies or outside, you know, what kind of, you know, do you do you attend coding challenges? Do you for, go for, uh, uh, do you do uh, extracurricular activities or do you read books? I think that's something that we really, really focus on. I think, you know, reading books and being, uh, you know, we definitely say readers are leaders and having that business sense definitely helps. And that's something that we really look for. And again, uh, as, as part of DCCAP, we always look for uh, gender equality. We always look for more women. I think, uh, you know, we always say uh, people groups which have more women are more successful. They can multitask and we also uh, look for hiring more women into the team as well. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so that's quite a bit. So right, readers are leaders and you know, we focus on reading. So that's something uh, you talked about. And you also talked about hiring uh, more women. And um, what do you think about the talent which is available uh, today? You have any thoughts around that? Definitely, Kathik. I think there is a lot of, lot of talent available. I think you know, we just have to take the time to talk to people and to see what exactly it is. You know, the, they, there are so much of untapped talent around there and we, how we kind of reach out to them is very, very important. I think, you know, right now we look at might be Nokri, LinkedIn, uh, you know, the very, very few things. But I think, you know, for us, a few things that has also worked with employee referrals. I think um, uh, there are people who have not even been on the job portal, who have not even been active on, uh, uh, on a job uh, search uh, portal. But we know through referrals, you know, we have people, uh, especially right now post COVID, we have people who want to get back to work. We have women who want to get back to work and this is being tapped by our uh, employee referral program. So there are a lot of people who are uh, very, very capable, very, very talented, but because of some circumstances, they have not been able to work or they've not been uh, very, very active uh, search of uh, work. And I think that's something that we have really, really tapped well. And I think that's something that we should really focus on. You know, especially in the rural side, there's not too much of exposure as well. So I think that's something that we can really, really focus on and see if we can tap that kind of talent. Yeah, I'm really amazed with the talent which is out there and that's really exciting. And um, on a similar note, um, what kind of a resume do you look for? Uh, I mean, do you have any thoughts or comments on that? Because you see Definitely. a lot of resumes on a day in and day out basis. Definitely. So you know what, we've seen a lot of resumes right from eight pages to 10 pages, which has all the projects, which uh, to a, a very, very smart one page resume. So I would prefer something on one or two pages maximum. I think one page is the best, you know, obviously I don't want to see all your projects and see what you're going to be doing out there. That's not exactly what I'm going to be doing. I think a one page short resume, which talks about what your hobbies are, what your ambitions are and what exactly you want to have, uh, you know, you want to look at as a career. And I think that's what we look at as a resume. And uh, that's exactly what we want. Just a one page resume is what we look at. Yeah, so if you're applying for a job at DC Cap, we don't want to see 10 pages. We don't want to see eight pages, seven, six, five, four, three, no, just one, okay? So that's uh, what we're looking uh, at. Well, it's really uh, interesting. And you also talked about uh, the rural uh, talent and that's something uh, we truly believe in. And um, 
Uh, we also see, I mean, even internally within our company, where people are relocating uh, from major cities into their hometowns and even building homes there and all that. I thought uh, that was very interesting. Um, so you have any comments on that? Definitely. I think we capitalized this in the right time. You know, uh, Even before most of the companies went uh, on our work from home permanently, I think we did that initially. I think, and I, I see a lot of our people have built their own houses near their families or near their uh, near their uh, near next to their parents, and I think that's done something. And we're very capitalized. People are very happy staying with family, getting home food. Especially, we had a lot of bachelors. You know, they didn't have to shut out a lot of money, staying in the city, paying the rent for their PGs, and then working from their own uh, from their villages or whatever. So that's something that we really capitalized well. And coming to the point, I think you know, in terms of the work from home has really opened up opportunities across, you know, wherever, you know, whichever location. I have seen a lot of people when we hiring, a lot of people from different places uh, have got back to work just because of the remote opportunity. I think that is very, very good. And I think we've capitalized that very well. I think that's that's the main point out here. Yeah, it's much easier to build a house near in your village than building a house, let's say in a Chennai or a Mumbai or a Delhi. It's really not affordable. And uh, we strongly think that the future of India is in its uh, villages. Yeah. So that's awesome. I have another question. You see, I mean, when I was a student, when I was applying for jobs and everything, let's say I want a job in a company and they say, you know what, go to the careers page and apply. I'm like, oh my God, you know, so I'm going to go to the career site and I'm going to apply. Nobody is going to look at it. So, I mean, that at least was my perspective then. So what are your thoughts there, right? So let's say if somebody is applying on bccap.com slash careers, do you guys look at the resume? Uh, do you guys, I mean, uh, how, how, yeah, do you get a lot of resumes on the careers page? And uh, which do you give more preference to, the careers page or like a job portal? Or what are your thoughts there? Definitely careers page, you know. Uh, obviously, every resume that comes to a careers page, somebody's taken effort to go to the bccap.com page see what we do and apply to us. I mean, that is definitely more uh, important to us than somebody who's just going to get into a knockery, uh, you know, an, an email alert and apply to it. So that's something that we give a lot of importance to. So uh, we make sure that we respond to each and every resume that comes to the careers page. And we definitely give more importance to the ones that comes to the careers page. And yes, you know, in terms of we, uh, if, if it is not suitable, we definitely make sure to respond to them right away. And we make sure that the complete process is very transparent, okay? So we make sure that, you know, uh, if we are responding, if they are not suitable for our current requirements, we tell them that, you know, it is not possible and it is not uh, suitable for our open requirements right now. We also have that in the database, you know, at some point of time, when we see that we have another open requirement, we definitely reach out to them to see if they are still available. And if they are, we try to do it. I think we have had a couple of people uh, that way as well who joined us, who've, uh, uh, who's applied to us before. And then we've, when we had the right opportunities come in, we try to hire them. So that's something we also do. Well, that's really motivating to me too, personally, because when I talk to some of our people, I remember that day, you know what, uh, they tell me that they've applied for a job, let's say a couple of years ago, and they did not really get through. And then they got through again, and they felt really proud. And that's something we feel very happy about that, hey, you know, they really had uh, DC Cap in mind to actually come back and uh, get a job uh, here. So that's uh, really, uh, interesting and we're also very thankful to them. And also, I mean, when we hire, right? I mean, this is something we also say uh, when we recruit, we say that we hire a very, very small percentage of the people we interview because when we hire, we wanna make sure that you are the right fit for us and we are the right fit for you. So, but then let's say, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, again, you know, our, I understand, right? Our process is not like other companies you know, you have to go through multiple rounds, you know, there are about five rounds or whatever, or maybe more sometimes. But then, you know, after going through all the five rounds or maybe more or maybe less rounds and you don't get selected, I mean, it's definitely disappointing. So what have you got to say for that? So, you know, we, we right from the beginning, our, our process, interview process is very, very clear. So we always tell them that, you know, our interview process has these many number of rounds. And the end of all the rounds, we have a, a team discussion. You know, the people, the pan, interview panel that have spoken to you, we come together, we discuss, and then take a decision. So the hiring is always a team decision at DCCAP. It is not uh, that way. And we also make it very, very transparent right at the beginning. You know, just because you finish the first round, go to the second round, it does not mean that you're selected. It's just that, you know, at the end of all the rounds, we have a discussion and then we take the hiring team. And that's very, very clearly communicated. 
And uh, we also make sure that the employee, I mean, the candidate who comes in for the interview is feeling important. Uh, they don't uh, miss out anywhere and the communication is very, very open. Uh, I'm sure, you know, when I've taken interviews, I've also got this feedback that they say that, you know, the HR person has told us that this is the next round. This is how it's going to be. It's been very flexible. We have taken, uh, you know, based on the candidate's time. And it's been very, very flexible that way. The communication is very open. And I think when we have this kind of a process, when it's very transparent, the, ca the candidate understands how things are. And I think that makes it better off. But yes, even otherwise, there are a few people who get upset. But we just try to make sure that this is how the process is, is the way we work. Because, you know, we always tell them that we hire a very small percentage that's been very, very clearly communicated at the beginning. And that's how we work. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, keeping the tra communication transparent and clear. And again, let's say if you don't end up hiring somebody, uh, again, it's not really them, right? So it's not that we don't really see a mutual fit at this point in time, and that could change later. So yeah, really well said. I really enjoyed this uh, chat, uh, Diti, about the DC cap recruitment process. And I mean, there's a lot more to it. But yeah, I'm glad we got a glimpse of it, and I'm sure it's helpful for people out there. So that's uh, Deepti, who runs our HR team or our HR leader, as uh, we call it. So thank you so much, Deepti, for joining us and uh, or joining me in this conversation. And great chatting with you. Thank you so much, Kapit. Thank you very much.